Hello everyone, welcome back to our pre-review class. So for this video, we will continue discussing about the Cooperative Code of the Philippines. So we're done with the basic principles and concepts of cooperative. So for this video, we will discuss the organization and registration of cooperative. So let's start with the purposes of cooperative. Ano nga ba ang purpose ng mga cooperative? So number one is to encourage thrift and savings mobilization among the members. To generate funds and extend credit to the members for productive and provident purposes. No, para, uh, parang, uh, this is a an association of persons no, para mag-help kayo to the members. No, kung sino yung member na may need, so doon siya kukuha sa cooperative. So yan yung concept talaga ng cooperative, no? para matulungan yung mga members. To encourage yung members systematic production and marketing, to provide goods and services, and other requirements to the members, para yung mga members, hindi na sila pupunta sa ibang mga companies, doon na lang sila sa cooperative. Like for example, no, yung tagong co-op. So kung mag-loan yung mga member, so doon na lang sila sa tagong co-op kasi member naman sila doon. And it would be easy for them to secure a loan from from the their cooperative and to avail of the services of the cooperative mas madali siya kasi member ka so yan yung ano talaga yung benefit ng co-op to develop expertise and skills among its members kaya merong mga uh, member training or seminar to acquire lands and provide housing benefits for the members yes pwede din no na May mga co-op din na binuo nila yung co-op para magkaroon ng mga lupa yung kanilang members. Maka-acquire sila ng property. Kasi nga, di ba, meron tayong concept na alone I am weak but with others I am strong. So, kapag nag-pull tayo ng funds, makakabili tayo ng lupa. And then later on, i-divide natin to. So, isa yan sa mga purposes ng cooperatives. To ensure against losses of the members to promote and advance the economic, social, and educational status of the members. So kung mapapansin ninyo, uh, very low lang yung capital requirement para maging member ng cooperative. Yung iba, 2,000 lang, 3,000 or 5,000, magiging member ka na. For as long as mag-attend ka lang ng membership seminar. So kaya parang ano maganda yung co-op kasi kahit na yung mga persons na uh, like... Um, hindi ganun kalaki yung kanilang earnings, makaka-join sila, magiging may-ari sila ng business or ng isang enterprise, di ba? Na maliit lang yung capitalization required. So, meaning, because of that, it could promote and advance the economic, social, educational status of the members. To establish, own, lease, or co operate cooperative banks, cooperative wholesale and retail complexes, insurance, in agricultural, industrial processing, enterprises, and public markets. To coordinate and facilitate the activities of cooperatives, to advocate for the cause of the cooperative movements, to ensure the viability of cooperatives through the utilization of new technologies, to encourage and promote self-help or self-employment as an engine for economic growth and poverty alleviation. So, isa din ito, no, kapag magbutay ng cooperative, we could provide jobs for people, for members, no, na yung mga members natin na walang trabaho, we can hire them. So, meaning, it can encourage and promote self-help, self-employment, no? Sa sarili mong company, sa sarili mong co-op, pwede kang magtrabaho. And to undertake any and all other activities for the effective and efficient implementation of the provisions of this code. So what are the primary objectives of every cooperative? It is to help improve the quality of life of its members. So ito lang talaga, no? Ma-improve natin yung quality of life ng members. Kasi hindi naman lahat ng members ng co-op talaga um, merong uh, financial, financially capable. Hindi talaga sila yung mga persons na uh, malaki yung earnings earnings in life. So, kasi yung re capitalization requirement ng co-op, maliit lang. So, meaning to say, this can be available to all people who wants to become members. no? Uh, and easy lang din yung para maging member. 
And kapag na-member ka na ng co-op, so makaka-avail ka na ng benefits, no? Pwede kang mag-loan para magpatayo ng negosyo, sarili mong negosyo, tindahan, or yung mga services, gaya ng medical services. Kasi kalakip yan doon sa benefits na ibibigay ng co-op, no? Like, sa tagong co-op, meron silang funicare, meron silang mga medical services for their members, insurance, makakaloan ka doon, makakabili ka ng lupa, etc. So, it could really help no, improve the quality of life of its members. So, towards this end, the cooperative shall aim to provide goods and services to its members to enable them to attain increased income, savings, investments, productivity, and purchasing power and promote among themselves equitable distribution of net surplus through maximum utilization of economies of scale, cost sharing, or risk sharing. Kasi kapag mag-patronize uh, ka ng products and services ng co-op, yung income niyan, babalik lang din sa'yo in the form of dividends and patronage refunds. So, yung capital mo, lalaki yun siya ng lalaki over time. Kaya, talagang makaka-improve siya ng quality of life ng members. So, kung kunyari 5,000 lang yung capitalization mo, after one year niyan, baka maging 6,000 na yan, the next year, 7,000. So, although hindi siya ganyan kalaki, kasi hindi naman talaga ibibigay lahat ng net surplus sa mga members kasi meron tayong allocation of net surplus under the law na kailangan yung net surplus, i-divide natin yan kasi 10% yan ilalagay sa reserve, 10% doon sa education and training fund. So, ang maiiwan dyan na I think uh, 65% or 70%, yun lang yung i-divide among the members. Provide optimum social and economic benefits to its members. Teach them efficient ways of doing things in a cooperative manner. Propagate cooperative practices and new ideas in business and management. Allow the lower income and less privileged groups to increase their ownership in the wealth of the nation. Ayan, ito yung na-mention po kanina na dahil mababa lang yung capitalization requirement, many people can avail, can be a member of a cooperative. So even those low-income uh, low earners and less privileged ones, they can uh, join the cooperative para mag-share sila sa wealth ng nation. Hindi ma-monopolize ng mga doon sa mga mayayaman. No? Meron din tayo dito, mag-grupo-grupo tayo para together we will uh, earn money. We will earn uh, net income or we will uh, improve our lives together. Parang yun ang concept talaga ng cooperative. And cooperative with the government, other cooperatives, and people-oriented organizations to further the attainment of any of the foregoing objectives. A cooperative registered under this code should have the following powers, rights, and capacities. So, ano ba ang power ng isang cooperative? We'll take note, ha, na, again, uh, cooperatives are created by operation of law. So, kailangan registered ka para ma-acquire mo itong mga powers na ito. Number one, to the exclusive use of its registered name, to sue and be sued. So, kunyari, nakakuha kayo ng pangalan Tagum Cooperative. So, walang ibang pwedeng gumamit niyan. Kayo lang. And, pwede kayong mag-file ng case against any person na nag-violate ng rights ng co-op no? as a juridical entity under the law. Right of succession, na kapag yung co-op member na matay, merong right of succession mapupunta sa mga heirs. No? And same siya ng principles doon sa corporation. To amend its articles of cooperation, to adapt by laws, to purchase, receive, take, or grant, hold, convey, sell, lease, pledge, mortgage, and otherwise deal with such real and personal property as the transaction of the lawful affairs of the cooperative may reasonably and necessarily require subject to the limitations prescribed by law and the constitution. To enter into subdivision, merger, or consolidation, to form subsidiary cooperatives and joint federations or unions. Maraming mga cooperatives member ng unions tsaka ng mga federation of cooperatives. To avail loans, be entitled to credit and to accept or receive grants. 
donation and assistance. No? Once meron ka ng juridical personality, para ka ng tao no? na pwede ka nang mag-enter into contract. No? Pwede ka mag-loan, pwede kang mag-donate, etc. To avail of preferential rights granted to cooperatives under Republic Act Number no. 7160, otherwise known as the Local Government Code, and other laws, particularly those in the grant of franchises, to establish, contract, operate, maintain ferries, wharves, markets, or slaughterhouses, and to lease public utilities, including access to extension, and on-site research services and facilities related to agriculture and fishery activities. To organize and operate schools. To exercise such other powers granted by the school that are necessary to carry out its purpose or purposes as stated in its articles of cooperation. So how do we organize cooperatives? We need 15 or more natural persons who are Filipino citizens of legal age, having a common bond of interest and are actually residing or working in the intended area of operation may organize a primary cooperative under this code, provided that a prospective member of a primary cooperative must have completed a pre-membership education seminar. Take note here that para magbuo ng cooperative, kailangan at least there are 15 or more, take note, natural persons who are Filipino citizens. But ma'am, you mentioned earlier na pwedeng maging member yung mga juridical person. Yes, but not for the purpose of organizing a cooperative. Pwede kang maging member after na na-organize. Pero kapag mag-organize ka ng cooperative, kailangan lahat natural persons. And dapat Filipino citizens. And before ka maging member, kailangan na-complete mo yung tinatawag nating PMES or the Pre-Membership Education Seminar. Any newly organized primary cooperative may be registered as multipurpose cooperative only after compliance with the minimum requirements for multipurpose cooperatives to be set by the authority. A single-purpose cooperative may transform into a multipurpose or may create subsidiaries only after at least two years of operation. So actually, ito, kapag bago ka pa na co-op, hindi ka pwedeng mag-engage into different uh, products or services. Abigyan ko kayo na example eh, tagong cooperative. Yung tagong cooperative, marami siyang uh, services, di ba? Meron silang loans, di ba? Credit. Uh, another is insurance. Meron silang funicare. Ano pa? Basta marami silang mga services na binibigay aside from credit, no? Extending credit to members. Dati meron yan silang hotel. Pero ngayon, parang wala na yung hotel, no? Ginive up na nila. Bag, ang tawag natin sa tagong cop, it is a multi-purpose cooperative. Bakit? Kasi it can engage into more than one service or product. Pero sabi ng batas, kapag bago ka pa, na-organize na co-op, isa lang muna. After two years, saka ka pa magiging iaalaw ng batas na magiging multi-purpose cooperative. Or saka pa mag-create ng subsidiaries after at least two years of operation. Every group of individuals or cooperatives intending to form a cooperative under this code shall submit to the authority a general statement describing, among others, the structure and purposes of the proposed cooperative, provided that the structure and actual staffing pattern of the cooperative shall include the bookkeeper, provide further that they shall not be allowed to operate without the necessary personnel, and shall also submit an economic survey indicating they're in the area of operation, the size of membership, and other pertinent data in a format provided by the authority. A cooperative duly registered under this code should have limited liability. Which means that we follow the limited liability rule, no? the same with the corporation. A cooperative shall exist for a period not exceeding 50 years from the date of registration unless dissolved or unless said period is extended. The cooperative term as originally stated in the Articles of Cooperation will be extended for periods not exceeding 50 years in any single instance by an amendment of the Articles of Cooperation. Uh, this sounds familiar, di ba? Kasi this is this provision is like the provision, the old provision of the co corporation code. 50 years din yung corporation code dati, but now hindi na. Unlimited na yung life. 
But for cooperatives, hindi pa nababago yung law hanggang 50 years pa yung, uh, yung existence niya. But pwede nating i-extend no, through an amendment of the Articles of Cooperation. Provided that no extension can be made earlier than five years prior to the original or subsequent expiry date or dates unless there are justifiable reasons for an earlier extension as may be determined by the authority. Now let's go to the contents of the Articles of Cooperation. Ano dapat yung mga nakalagay? Number one, yung name ng co-op, which shall include the word cooperative. Yung purpose or purposes and scope of business for which the cooperative is to be registered. The term of existence of the cooperative, the area of operation, and the postal addresses of its principal office. The names, nationality, and postal addresses of the registrants. The common bond of membership. The list of names of the directors who shall manage the cooperative and the amount of its share capital. The names and residence of its contributors and a statement of whether the cooperative is primary secondary or tertiary in accordance with Article 23 hereof. Bonds and sworn statement, no cooperative other than a cooperative union as described under Article 25 hereof shall be registered unless the Articles of Cooperation is accompanied with the bonds of the accountable officers and a sworn statements of the treasurer elected by the subscribers showing that at least 25% to of the authorized share capital has been subscribed and at least 25% to of the total subscription has been paid, provided that in no case shall be paid, shall the paid up share capital be less than 15,000 pesos. So remember this provision. Kailangan para ma-register ka, kailangan meron kayong bond. Mag-post ng bond yung mga accountable officers. Sino yung mga accountable officers? Yung mga board of directors, yung mga cashiers, treasurer, sila yung mga accountable officers. So, kailangan meron silang security. Okay? And then, meron sworn statement na at least 25% doon sa authorized share capital na subscribe and 25% sa subscribe are paid. Basta, yung paid up capital hindi bababa ng 15,000 pesos. The authority shall periodically assess the required paid up capital share capital and may increase it every five years when necessary upon consultation with the cooperative sector and national economic development authority okay. bylaws so ano naman yung nakalagay sa bylaws qualifications for admission to membership and the payment to be made or interest to be acquired as a conditions for the exercise of the right of membership the rights and liabilities of membership, the circumstances under which membership is acquired, maintained, and lost, the procedure to be followed in cases of termination of membership, the conditions under which the transfer of a share or interest of the members shall be permitted, the rules and procedures on the agenda, time, place, and manner of calling, convening, conducting meetings and quorum requirements, voting systems, and other matters relative to the business affairs of the General Assembly, Board of Directors, and the general conduct of the affairs of the cooperative including the powers and duties of the general assembly the board of directors committees and the officers and their qualifications and disqualifications the manner in which the capital may be raised and the purposes for which it can be utilized the mode of custody and of investment of net surplus the accounting and auditing systems Demanding the manner of loaning and borrowing, including the limitations thereof, the method of distribution of net surplus, the manner of adapting, amending, repealing, and abrogating bylaws, a conciliation or mediation mechanism for the amicable settlement of disputes among members, directors, officers, and committee members of the cooperative, and other matters incident to the purposes and activities of the cooperative. Registration a cooperative form and organized under this code that acquires juridical personality from the date the authority issues a certificate of registration under its official seal. All applications for registration shall be finally disposed of by the authority within a period of 60 days from the filing thereof. Otherwise, the application is deemed approved unless the cause of the delay is attributable to the applicant, provided that in case of a denial of the application for registration, an appeal shall lie with the office of the president within 90 days from the receipt of the notice of such denial. Provided further that failure of the office of the president to act on the appeal within 90 days from the filing thereof shall mean approval of the said application. 
Certificate of registration issued by the authority under its official seal shall be conclusive evidence that the cooperative therein mentioned is duly registered unless it is proved that the registration thereof has been cancelled. Amendment of Articles of Cooperation by Laws. So, kailangan ng two-third vote of all the members bago maka-amend ng Articles of Cooperation and by laws without prejudice to the right of the dissenting members to exercise their right to withdraw from their membership under article 30 so uh, parang this sounds uh, familiar no same with the corporation di ba meron tayong ano yun siya yung right niya na kapag nag siya sa action ng cooperative he can uh, withdraw his uh shares now from the corporation. Contracts executed prior to registration effects are off. Contracts executed between private persons and cooperatives prior to the registration of the corporation shall remain valid and binding between the parties and upon registration of the cooperative. A formal written contract shall be adopted and made in the cooperative's name or else be have prior to its registration. Ibig sabihin lang nito, kunyari, uh, yung yung company or business na na organize na siya pero hindi pa siya na register sa cooperative code of the Philippines I mean cooperative development authority so tapos nag enter sila into contracts with third persons so ano ba yung mangyayari sa contract na yun sabi ng batas valid pa din and binding okay kahit na uh, they were entered into prior to the registration so that ends our discussion for organization and registration of cooperatives. See you next video for the types and categories of cooperatives. Goodbye.